I've worked at is probably the best open venue of the lot. It's a great spectator course because of all the mound up, up the sides. Um, it's a brilliantly designed golf course. You know, it's tough, it's fair. You know, you haven't got massive slopes off fairways. The bunkering's brilliant. Um, the holes all run in different directions, so, you know, the wind can play a part. You know, it tests you on, on different shots, holding it into the wind with a draw and with a fade, and obviously downwind and into the wind holes. Um, it's close to Liverpool and Manchester, you get fantastic crowds, which just makes for a great home championship. When you're over there at the Open, you probably have about five different shots you can play. You can pull a 7-9 out and just bump and run it up the green. You can, you can uh, do the normal 120-yard shot, which is a sandwich probably. You can hit a 9-9. You can do so many different shots. Flight it down, flight it up. You've got to see the shot more than just that's your number and that's your shot. And that's the biggest thing about open golf. For me, it's the biggest championship in the world. I think that's, you know, partly from, from a British point of view. But, uh, you know, it's the, uh, you know, the way they are and they set it up. Um, you know, I, I grew up watching Open Championships and it sort of got me interested in the game. Um, you know, watching on TV from first thing in the morning to the last thing at night. And um, I think it tests your game more than any other championship. And uh, um, I think, you know, the clout jug is something that all professional golfers want to raise in the air. To play at Open is, is special and I'm good friends with Ian Baker Finch and he's one there and I'll ask him a few questions about it, things that he might um, know about the golf course that, that might help. I probably get there on a Sunday evening and have three practice days uh, playing the golf course and uh, just getting used to the greens and uh, trying to get together a game plan. Uh, obviously, you know, I've played two Open Championships there and not contended so maybe I need to look at the way I play the golf course and uh, try a different approach. So. That'll be what I'm consumed with mostly on Monday, and Tuesday and Wednesday. And obviously, uh, depending on the conditions, so sort of home again towards you know, maybe hitting low shots if it gets really windy or, you know, different kinds of things. I'll go and play a bit where it's really windy. I, there's a few golf courses close to me where it's always windy, so I'll probably do that play in those conditions just to sort of, um, you know, get that feel again. I would love to, to get get uh, another Open um, Championship to, to have your name on the on the Clara Jug is special, but if you can put it that, um, you know, twice, it's, it's better. Obviously, lots of friends and family uh, will be coming to it, and, uh, um, you know, it's, you know, you, you, you kind of block everything out, but occasionally you do see friendly faces in the crowd, and, uh, you know, that's obviously nice, it gives you a bit of a boost. The top 50 in the world can win that tournament and um, there's not just one guy that's that will be a, a, a top competitor. I think um, the way golf is going now, anyone in the top 50 can win a major. It's just a championship that everybody holds in high regard and one I'd like to win. <laughs>